Of course, when you called, I popped straight over, but I must say, you do keep uncivilized hours in the little apple. It's the big apple. What? Well, then someone's just sold me a counterfeit T-shirt. A sense of humor. I love that in a man. Which is why I'm prepared to consider taking you up on your offer. Might I inquire what changed your mind? What's this? Our books from the last five years. If we're going to do this, I want you to know exactly what it is you're getting yourself into. And I start at the beginning. It's a great read. You are an impressive woman. Oh, you don't know the half. Well, here's to my further education. I'm not gonna get you out of buying me a drink first. No more bullshit. What? I just left Jessica and your boss, and I know what I saw. They're in bed together, and I don't mean having sex. They're talking merger. It's not what it looks like. Hartman can check a plane, and I can check a plane. Edward Darby flew here the day you did. He didn't just pop in. He wasn't supposed to do that. You don't want your name on the door. You want your name on my door. I wanna see our names on the same door. Yeah, like I said. It's never the full story with you. I wanted to be able to tell you myself. Then why didn't you tell me? Because he wouldn't let me until he decided. Well, evidently, he decided without okay, you. Okay, okay. He jumped the gun, but I have his promise, Harvey. We merge, he names me his partner, and Jessica's only choice is you. I don't need you to get my name on the door any more than I need you to win this case. You know what, Harvey? You have been outgunned ever since Hardman left. I am bringing the guns. This is exactly what you've always wanted. Get over your pride. I'm not getting over anything. And this merger isn't happening. Thank you. Jessica. Edward. Daniel. Haven't seen you since that business in Milan. Beautiful weather. Oh, enough. We are not friendly adversaries, Daniel. And you are about to lose. My client already said no. But he may no longer listen to you when I inform him of your prior embezzlement. You told him? I didn't tell him anything. I found it on my own. Edward and I are merging. I had to show him the books. Legally required to show me her books. And unlike you, I don't break the law. A fact that Hanley Folsom could be made acutely aware of. You do break the law, Jessica. Not reporting embezzlement is a crime. Why don't you bring that up at your sentencing hearing? Why don't I sue you? You could. Anybody could sue anybody, but you still don't have proof that I told him. And our firms combined have 10 times the resources that yours do. <laughs> oh, wait. You don't have a firm. You're just here, living in Zane's offices, working on those cases that will no longer be yours when we're done with you. Goodbye, Daniel. Oh, get your client to sign those papers, will you? 